All right, gang, just wanted to kind of bring you up to speed on some changes on the website and the things we're going to be doing over the next couple of days. I'm going to be working pretty hard at my desk so that I can get your projects graded, get feedback back to you in a timely fashion. So I'm going to need you to also be working hard to get through some of this artwork that the Greeks do. They do some pretty amazing stuff, and we're moving, like we said, from textbook reading to reading primary and secondary source documents. So we're going to be doing some Internet work. Um, so we're going to Unit 2, Ancient Greece. I've included this symbol here that Miss Weaver put together. It has some awesome information. Some of it's overlap from what we're doing. Uh, some of it is, is just really, really good stuff. The mythology teacher is very good. We're not going to spend a lot of time on mythology. I know a lot of you are interested. So Greek gods, Greek mythology. Um, if you want to go to the Odyssey online, this is a pretty sweet video about the actual Odyssey. Um, there's all kinds of, of links here. Any of these links can help you on your note guide. This could take the place of reading the textbook. What I've done is I've divided um, the course into presentations, web resources, and handouts. Um, so if you need an assignment, the first place to go is always the Bulldog. And everything, as you can see, is hyperlinked. So you just scroll down. We're in week seven. So when you finally get all the way down here, um, you can see that what we have left is we're doing a Greek art web quest. You're going to pick your favorite piece in the Louvre. You have Cornell notes. I'm going to show you a new note-taking style. And again, we're going to transition away from the uh, formatted notes that I've been giving you and into a note-taking style that will benefit you I think for the rest of your educational and even professional career the flipped Cornell notes are here Greek art web quest is here Greek art flipped web quest formative form for Friday um, and then in uh, flipped as we talked about you have the discussion um, so we're going to talk about what our favorite is from the Louvre. The Louvre is linked right here, so you can go to that site. Um, and then you should be good to go for the discussion. So let's jump back to Unit 2, HC of Greece. We're going to go to the Web Resources. We're going to click on Greek Art 101. Read the paragraph. Check out the pretty pictures. There's going to be one, two, three. Architecture, sculptures, vases. Then when you go to Greek sculpture, it's going to give it to you. The point of this is that anything that you can click on, Okay, so whenever this makes a little hand that we can click on, we want to click on it and read through the documents. So here's the different types of sculptures, and now look, it makes a hand, so we can go then to the vase painting. On your, let's get there real quick, Greek Art Web Quest. Questions are divided up by home page. Sculptures, vases, architecture, and so on. When you're done with this form, uh, you can you can use you can share it with your peers. I don't care how you guys get it done. When you're done, make sure you're adding to your note guide the information about art and architecture that you find. That'll be Wednesday, half over the day, Wednesday and Thursday. <clears throat> Other things that you can do, here's the Greek Wing in the British Museum. This is an awesome site for finding information about the Acropolis, like the thing that we were defending. Here's a story about it. I can explore it. I can even build your own Greek temple. Uh, Athens. Uh, it's going to talk to you about Athens. This is the home of democracy. Story. Explore. Uh, whenever you do that, you can challenge, find the citizens. Um, this is going to add to your social structure. 
Also have daily life. This is going to talk to you about right living. Story will tell you about right living and you can explore. Festivals and games. That's going to talk to you about religion and um, entertainment. So that arts and architecture. Geography. We've already talked a lot about it. If you go there, obviously you see water and mountains. And then these boats on their pottery. And all this trade. Uh, so just explore uh, gods and goddesses religion knowledge and learning that's going to be writing sparta timeline and then wars we're going to talk a lot about the trojan persian and peloponnesian wars so you might want to check out that stuff anything that you can click on with the little hand go ahead and click on it and read through the documents read through the documents uh, the other thing you have is greek art greek web quest number two this actually breaks it out pretty much by category. So when you're thinking about those Cornell notes, here's your geography category. You can go and read about the geography. Here's the religion category. Go and read about religion. Here's the social structure category. Go and read about it. And you're making that notation to the left, which I'll show you on Wednesday, or I've already showed you. Okay. And then finally, go to the Louvre. And you can click the most watched. You can click on a statue that you think you like. Okay. Um, and then Aphrodite de Venus de Milo. All right. So there she is. Next. Takes a little bit of time here. All right. This is the Sarcophaga de Sarcophaga de Epix. So it is a sarcophagus, not unlike the Egyptians, um, and it's kind of done in the Doric statue style. Uh, here's a vase, and so on. Just pick your most favorite. Understand that, obviously, um, Greeks are going to be portrayed in their natural form or natural state, um, and their focus is on realism. So we need to be adult about seeing, obviously, um, naked individuals, but understand that it's very, very important um, that we see this change from Egypt to Greece, and we'll be talking more about that in class as well. The other thing to note is that these little tree trunks that are chopped off here actually keep the statues from breaking off at the shins or the knees. The weight of the torso, because they're done in marble is so heavy that in fact if they were to not back it up back here then the the statues would fall and break at the knees that's pretty impressive I think um, once you have figured out which one is your favorite then you're gonna go to the discussion board so you're gonna need to log in if you're not logged in don't look at my password world history Daniels Discussion board, if I'm an hour six, favorite from the Louvre and why? I will create a thread. I'm going to title it U2D1 for discussion one and Daniel's favorite. Be sure to write in case, so tell me what is your favorite, why it is your favorite, um, and then what about it makes it your favorite. The other option that you have is you could jump back to your favorite and create a screenshot of it. Copy that screenshot. Back to the discussion board. and paste your screenshot. Oh, it wants me to do control V, which should then kick that in there. If it doesn't, you may have to go file, save as, and insert the image. So browse your computer, find it in your downloads, click insert, and it should kick it right in there. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or let me know, and I will see you in class tomorrow. Please be ready to work when you walk in.